They want to see me represent them, they want to see me stand up to injustices, they want to see me speak what exactly is on ground, they want to see me be different from the usual politicians. Our leaders don't seem to care for the next generation. Are then we seeing a wave of change in African politics, the way that we've seen change in the US with President Trump and in France with Emmanuel Macron? Are you the new change in Africa? I wouldn't want to look at me as the new change, I would look at us as a new change. I represent a new generation, a young generation. So yes, this is a new wave that I would like to assimilate with uh, the likes of Emmanuel Macron. He's such an inspiration. How are you going to manage to bring about the change that you want to see in Uganda? I am going to stand on issues. My standing up was not just for me, but to encourage all the other young people. They've been lacking confidence, so I'm here to give them confidence, and I'm glad it's working. You said you admire the President Museveni of 1986 to 1996. Yes. What's gone wrong since then? Man, he lost touch with the people, the values that he stood for. He came preaching fundamental change, but right now he stands for no change. He said that Africa's problem, and Uganda in particular, are the leaders that overstay in power. He has been in power for 31 years and still counting. So I believe that the Museveni of then and the Museveni of now, if the two met, they would have a bitter fight. Speaking of presidents, do you want to be president of Uganda one day? Well, I'm president already. I'm president of the ghetto. <laughs> People just gave me a responsibility to uh, represent them in Parliament, and that is what I want to do for now. I don't want to cross bridges that I've not reached yet. Talk me through some of the reforms you'd like to see in Ugandan society. Inclusiveness. The president has too much power, and I believe that should be reduced. Two, human rights abused so constantly because there's so much rule of the gun other than rule of law. The same way I've been preaching to the voters is the way I want to preach to the members of Parliament to try and change their mindsets and to show them that they need to reconnect with the people. What are you going to do to lift those people out of the ghetto? How are you going to improve their lives and the economy in Uganda? Our ghettos are full of young people and 80% of them are unemployed. We need to do, bring our policies that are going to look into that. Uh, that's the best way to curb crime. Look at our health. The budget that is being allocated to our health is shaming the education system is pathetic. Can you sing something for us now? I would like to communicate about the things that we have to eliminate, the ignorance and poverty to eradicate, all these ghetto children to educate. Yo, I don't know why the corruption is too much. Yaga, 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 why the price of electricity too high. Yaga, 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 why the price of education is too much. Yaga, 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 disrespect of the constitution is too bad. You see that? <laughs>